Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bucks County. What's up, JC Cousin? <laughs> What's up, Taylor? Uh, Pedro, Pedro's uh, going to fix the bales that I stacked. So I got to admit something. The last three episodes, for those of you that were watching, yeah, I was falling asleep the whole time. Because it was like 2, well, like one thirty in the morning in England. And <laughs> I was tired, so. <laughs> I and, might have... Uh, He's going to fall asleep again during these episodes. Yeah, they'll have no excuse, right? I don't, except for they have no coffee. I ran out of coffee. We went to the store to get coffee and milk. We got milk and toilet paper and forgot the coffee. I'm like, ah. So now I'm going to have to go back out again tomorrow. But I'm not tired tonight, so I'm, I should be fine. Pedro, thank you. You're awesome. Pedro's going to stack. We have 12 more bales coming in off the field of grass, and the rest we're going to wrap and sell. So, Jace, uh, Jace, do you want to grab? Uh, let's see here. Mm, mm -mm. What, you're still working on your controller there, bud? Yeah. JC has to go to the bathroom. He's in the bushes there, but he's having a problem because he wet his pants. So now he's just going to stay there till they dry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to come up with a story somehow. I mean, you know. <laughs> you're all cool your pants. JC uh. peed his pants. Now, believe me, I've actually had that song sung about me, and it's not funny because it actually happens. I'm as you get older, you get a little less warning than you used to. So when you get that sign, you better go. Uh, anyone? Let's see. If being your pants is cool, I'm Miles Davis. Let's see. Hang on. I can't find. <laughs> let's see. Are all the tractors? Oh no, here they are. Okay. I'm gonna grab the noisy tractor. Oh, and these bales right by this. Sorry, sorry, I was I was a little little. little woozy. I've already lost track of how many bales I made. <laughs> I was a little sleepy. Oh no, JC, did you? JC's like I'm out of here. I I have you been made fun of too much, JC? Yeah, I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> I was only teasing. Restarting my computer. This isn't working. I mean, just so you know, there was a song that came out a couple years ago in my household called Daddy Pooped His Pants. We won't go into why it was called that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But it was a hit with the kids. <laughs> uh, it's because <laughs> it was a, I think it was like it was like two years ago. Or it might have even been like before I was divorced. Uh, Dum Dum went to went uh, to Hawaii for a month and left me and the kids at home. And while she was gone, we got the flu twice. Oh. And um, I ended up the second time, like throwing uh -huh. up. But like the to so then the toilet was in use at that point. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> so. Uh. Trick. Yeah, I didn't. Well, at the time, I didn't realize the trick was needed <laughs> until after it was happening. Well, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That but way, once again, I did. I did not. I was not prepared. I did not know that there was going to be a second half to the throwing up part. Oh man. Uh, oh boy. So then, that was the new song that went around the house for a couple of days. <laughs> a bucket. <laughs> Depends. Depends, yeah. Yeah, my wife jokes about that. She does. Get you some Depends. Thanks. <laughs> so did you guys see that new, uh, the Chinese uh, DLC map for spin tires? I saw that you released it for a video on it. Yeah, it came out, whoa, last week. Hang on, one, two, three. Wait, I one, two. So this is nine and ten, Tay. That's probably good. Yeah, I think ten will be fine. That's about the end. But anyway, I really like it. I've been I've been playing spin tires more than I should all weekend, pretty much. So is it good? Um. It's it was only four ninety nine, but yeah, it's actually two really cool maps that have a lot of like cool like details that have never been in the game before. Mm. 
They're and releasing new stuff. For I know, I know. Every they did, did Chernobyl last year. So yeah. I really wish they'd work on snow fire or snow running. Oh, they are. Well, that's a different company. Oh, are they? Yep. Oh, I thought it was the same company. Nope. I didn't know it was the same. No, they sold spin tires. It's really weird how it all worked out, but like the original. I don't know. The guy that designed it all, the first dude. What? Somebody. Oh, JC's working on the control. He. Uh, okay, so I think the way it worked, one guy programmed it, right? Snow or snow run or spin tires. It did fairly well, um, you know, and he got it produced or whatever, released through um, Uvu or Uvi or whatever it's called. Whoa, this is not working right. And um, so they went from, um, like, publishing it. He got in a fight with them or something and whatever. And they eventually, you know, sued him and they ended up buying him out or whatever. Like, he, he didn't – he wanted to get paid more than he was getting paid for the product, like, even though he had originally agreed to get paid what he got paid. And so it started this big, you know, like, war. And, but they took it over. They took the programming for it, and they made. Uh, I think they sold it to the guys that make Mud Runner. But they also kept the rights to the original stuff, from what I understand. Like it's like they had like they had like both going on. So they then um, sold off Mud Runner people, and they had people develop the next game, which was Mud Runner, who then again went ahead and made Snow Runner, or uh, and uh, but the guys that owned. Spin tires still own it, and so they've been continued to make DLCs for it and stuff. So it's weird. It did come from them, but it's not. They're, they're two separate products now. I'm trying to think of what else would be like that, like like what other games have kind of gone through the same thing. It would be almost like if, if Elder Scrolls sold, or if uh, Bethesda sold the right to the Elder Scrolls to another company, but then continued to make like online content for their Elder Scrolls game, you know, like it's just it's some weird copyright thing. So, uh, all right, so Taylor, where'd you go? Are you bailing with the other bailer now? Yep. Okay. Now, uh, Pedro, when you're done with that, can you feed the cows the grass that I've stacked in front? Actually, I can kind of do it. Let me, I can do this. I've got a secret weapon. Why you added strong farmer? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got a tractor designed just for this job. I was gonna ask him if we should add precision farming to this or not. No, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> I've been having troubles with precision like farming. Yeah, which what was what's been the issue? Um, none of my crops are making the soil lose nitrogen. So all I can plant is crops that require like maximum nitrogen. Oh, what? Yeah. So, like, if I plant soybeans, I get 50% yield because they're over fertilized. And no nothing drops. It. Like, it, I, I, it oh, the nitrogen level's not dropping after you do the crop? Yeah. Like, I planted corn, which is, which I think on that soil type was like 180 or 200, and it was down to like one. Like 170 or 190, like it hardly dropped what? at all. And so Oops. I can't plant anything else. <laughs> it's like, okay, I guess I'm going to plant corn for the rest of my life. On that map, anyway. I mean, it kind of makes it like real farmers that can't plant certain crops anyway. <laughs> so but that's, yeah, but that's weird. Crops. Yeah, true. Like they, they have to get, like the soil's good for different kinds of crops. That's a, now. Have you looked it up at all, Pedro? Uh, no. I after I noticed it, I didn't really have time to play until now, or haven't played until about now. Like I'm wondering if there's a if you if it's the map you're using, or are you using it's seasons? Bellsburg, no seasons. Maze plus. No. Like nothing else that would change it. No. No. Anything. Does anybody no. know where I put the? Um, yeah, I'm just starting to play with it, so I will find out if I have issues or not. I'm doing it on a season playthrough, so we'll see how that changes it. I don't know if it works with seasons. I think they said it doesn't. No, it does. Does it's, it? It is so far with me. Oh, weird. Okay. 
I could have sworn that I bought a bucket for the John Deere. I'm wondering if there's a problem with Felsburn, to be perfectly honest, because I Felsburn's where I, I tested it out, and it wasn't working properly for me at all on Felsburn. Oh, it wasn't? Really? Like, I was spraying, hmm. like, I was putting down fertilizer, and it was showing on the map that it was, like, orange in some spots. But, like, the whole field was, like, almost about the same color. But then as I was going around fertilizing, some of it it was changing and some of it it wasn't changing. Oh, that's annoying. So it was, like, only partly doing it. I, I just, it was really weird. <laughs> but on Deer County with Seasons, it seems to be working fine so far. Okay. Oh, this doesn't have forks? Oh, what a dud. <laughs> well, that's a, what the... <laughs> what a dud. I was going to fork these into the cows with my little tractor, but apparently I can't. No, there's only a bucket for that little thing. Son of a bucket. Well, where's the fun in that? I mean, a little thing like that wouldn't be able to pick up. So it's probably no fork yeah, I guess you're right. They're too you big. You try to pick up a bale with that little thing, you just flip, just over. flip it over. <laughs> you could push a bale, just get the bucket on it and just push the bales. All right, Pedro. Well, there's another there's another um, uh, stock bale over here, Pedro, when you're done over there. Another if that's all right. Yeah, like the corn stock or whatever we, we're putting in the soybean stocks. JC started playing ATS. He's given up on farms. What? I think he might be. Is he checking it to see if it works? Probably. Yeah, I'm checking. Yeah, because I restarted my computer and the controller's still not working. And I know it was working with ATS yesterday, so I'm going to give it a shot. Thanks for ratting me out, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> it came up on my screen. It's like JC is now playing American Chess. And you're like, what? what the what? Yeah, Steam tells me when everybody, when anybody is getting on and doing anything. Oh, that's right. Unfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, Taylor was like, alone. <laughs> just like that, now you will never get up there. I was like, it won't uh, tell you what I'm doing when I unfriend you. <laughs> right. <laughs> or put yourself in an offline mode. So I still have not found a good use for this tractor yet, aside from looking really funny when I ride it and um, putting it up on the, uh, like, using it to, to scoop the cow stuff up. But what's really funny is this, you know, Discord shows you what you're playing, says what you're playing. Oh, right. Well, I have Discord logged in on my laptop, and my wife always plays Sims on there, so... Uh, people keep telling me, why are you playing Sims all the time? Like, you're always playing Sims. And I'm like, oh, I love I this. Never play Sims. I, I, I love the Sims. I was playing it a lot until my laptop died. Now I can't play it. I mean, I can install it on this computer, but I mostly play it when I'm downstairs watching TV. I'm so sad that thing died. This thing is both good and bad news. Huh? Said so it's both. This is both good and bad news. What is uh -oh. that? My controller is working for ATS, which means there's something wrong with Farmson. Weird. Science. Okay, so what do I need to do over here, Arthur, with these grass bales? Uh, if you want to feed them to the cows, it would be great. And then uh, the corn bale can go with the other ones. And then there was an, it looks like there's an alfalfa bale that's like halfway in, halfway out. Have any of you uh, gotten the new... Uh, John Deere combine mod, the X9. No, no I saw it on our farming channel. How is it? It's, it looks pretty good. Works pretty good. What is that? It, their newest one? Yeah, the it's the new 2020 version. Harvest so that they got, and the guy made the mod, and he released it over Christmas on his Facebook page because Giants banned him from putting mods on the mod tub. Why? Because he he, re he sent that into them and it had 3D track. And Wait. They because 3D tracks are in the DLC, so the only way he could have gotten them was breaking the DLC. Oh. Wait, the D what DLC? The uh, Borgo DLC. 
Oh. Wait, so he got tracks from the 9RX? Yeah. And put them on the harvester. Like, used the modeling for the 3D tracks. Like, he changed them up to look different, but it's the same. Like, he got the texture, basically. The 3D oh, tracks. Oh, jeez. Really? But he didn't even do it. He said that someone sent it to him, and he had no idea it was from, you know, stolen from. He thought somebody actually found a way to make it. He didn't know if it was mm -hmm. stolen from the DLC. So, I guess, uh, I guess now he's allowed back, but he's got a strike. Because he explained it to Giants, and they allowed him back, but he's got a strike. So if he does it again, it does something mm -hmm. again. But everyone was super pissed off, obviously, because... They're like, well, it's just people trying to get stuff for free instead of having to buy everything. Yeah, but, but it's, it wasn't. Even it's not even it was, related to the. It wasn't a stolen mod. It was just a stolen texture that came with the DLC. <laughs> Jeez. And it was not. It's not even like something like. It's not like he took a nine RX and like. Right. He didn't take the nine RX. Yeah. From the DLC. And make it like, uh, here's the 9RX from the DLC with, you know, whatever. Then people could get it for free right. without buying the DLC. Uh, it's just some tread. Uh, it's a texture for the 3D tracks. So it looks a little bit better, but it's... They, you really only notice it even, too. Um, you if, only notice it if you're looking up close at it. When you're driving far further away, you don't notice. Yeah, and on top of that, I mean, only and that's only if you happen to order the three D tra the tracks. Right. I always use wheel though. Yeah, because I use the wheels too. I don't like the tracks. I don't. But he, I guess, originally he he said the reason why he put three D tracks on is because if he didn't, he knew there would be other people that would steal his mod and re put it up with the three D tracks on it somewhere. Right. And he wanted to try to keep people from doing that, so he just added three D tracks. So my version that I got off his Facebook page has 3D tracks. When, oh. the, when the X9, well, I think it has them. I actually didn't really look, but I think it has them. And then when we get the Mod Hub version, it probably won't because you can obviously release it without the 3D tracks so you don't get strike against. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to put the arm up. Just but I'm really up. glad he didn't get completely banned because he's one of like him. It was him and like three other people got marked for it, got banned for it, and they're all guys that make American mods. So I'm like, please don't ban these guys. They're the only ones making them good American mods out there. Yeah, that sucks. That's I'm sorry to hear that because that's like, I hope they they will rectify that. And... Yeah, I think the last I heard it did sound like they were back just with strikes. So if they do something again, they could get banned again. But right, they're allowed back. Again. Oops. Oopsie. Uh, the, one, the one that made the X9 is SIID modding. He does, he does a lot of good stuff. All right, we need to find out where silage fermented. WCS, what is that? Fermented. What is WCS? I wish they'd ban all the modders that keep making three, three meter cultivators. We've only got like 100 <laughs> of those everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Like enough already. Enough. Don't they, I thought I read somewhere they did that for people that that want to try to become a modder. They have to submit something or or yeah. just trying to learn or something. Oh, so, so they you, all submit the same. I screwed up, and I, start, I started the dumb process. I cannot put my arm up on this. Dang People it. that start will start with smaller stuff like that because it's easier to mod. Yeah it's, yeah, it's just easier. They'll just start by making a little plow or a little cultivator. Next thing you know... Giants has been denying a few mods recently because they are too much like stuff that's already on the hub, mod hub. Uh, they've got so much stuff on there that's so alike. This is getting scary, like, thinking I'm in England. I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Like, I think there's, like, three different bent mowers or Berlin mowers or something. They're, they're finally like, oh, like, no, we got that already, thanks. They're, like, slightly different each model, but they're pretty much all the same thing. And it's like, oh, my God. Like, every day I watch a guy on YouTube, uh, DJ Goham. Yeah. 
And I, I watch his uh, mod release videos just to see what new mods are out. And like every day, there's literally maybe one or two that I actually care about. There's just a bunch of just stuff. It's like, why? Yeah, that's why I never got into what he's doing because it's like I just I couldn't handle the. Right. And we have another cultivator, and another and cultivator. Another plow, and another. And another, plow. yeah. And this, and these are all broke, just like everything else that gets released on Mod Hub. Oh, and look, a little. You want to dig up the ground with? You want to, you know, load things 100 liters at a time with a little handheld shovel? Here's a handheld shovel that doesn't actually work. <laughs> and it still doesn't work, right? <laughs> and it looks terrible. <laughs> look at the textures on it. I, that's the one reason why I would not do. I. I tell people to do that. When people are like, what should I do to make my channel grow? I'm like, do mod reviews, do map reviews, because that's right. what people, a lot of people will go. But, see, I, can't, I just can't do it because I'm too harsh. Like, I, I end up no. looking at them like, that looks like crap. Look at the. Well, that's that's why DJ doesn't review them. He just tells you they're there. Yeah, probably, because like, people he, like to see something positive, you know. Right, because, like, he will, he'll actually, like, when you watch the videos, there's a few things that he likes it himself or thinks it's decent. He'll... Uh, actually show it in game and go over it a little bit more but most of them he'll just be like hey here's this and here's this and here's this and here's this and here's this, and here's this. <laughs> so he'll just tell you what all's been released but he'll only go over the stuff that he actually likes or think is okay key. you know every three he doesn't go into detail every three meal, meter cultivator that comes out he just says hey here's another cultivator um where is our round bale picker rubber i'm using it right now Oh, I'm I've been I'm getting ready to sell, so I took it off to the to the factory to sell off the first 24 bales that came off the field. But what I really like with him is what he's done, what he has built with the mod thing has actually now allowed him to get free releases from modders. Yeah, so that's like pretty cool. Oh, yeah, really good and cool. It's coming out. They'll give it to him ahead of time, and he gets to check it out. Yep. And, of course, he's also the guy that will take mods and then crazy modify them himself so that he has, like, you know, <laughs> right. a failer that goes 50 miles an hour. Oh, yay. Like, <laughs> the stuff that makes me nuts. Like, I think... 10, <laughs> 10 trillion liter tipper. <laughs> what was the one... I think there was one that I watched. Like, there was uh, one of the little balers came out that had a, a thrower on the back of it, so it threw the bales into the trailer behind you. Oh, yeah. 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 He did a video where he... Mo he he had a live video where he mod went in and was modding it and changing the speed to try and see if he could get the bales to shoot up into the sky. <laughs> did it? Did it work? It worked. Oh God! He, he had them shooting up. He had one. He got it to where they were shooting up in the sky so high that it would take a few seconds before they finally hit the ground. Like they'd go way up, they just disappear. You didn't know where they were, and then all of a sudden they'd land on the ground. That's hilarious. Hey, what, uh, I'm looking for this, uh, I got W, oh, no. I'm trying to sell this, uh, silage, and I'm not having any luck. I took it to the transport company bales, but it's not taking them in. It's just, they're, it says they buy them, but then it's just sitting on the, the, the landing platform. Where do you usually go to sell barrel bales, Taylor? Uh, the, 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 the not the processing plant. Isn't there like a? I know there is one where they most sell, they have bales. silos, and what? there's also a, a, a square on the robot. side. Wait, JC, you totally roboted out. Oh. I'm sorry, I was. Saying that there is, I know one small point. I don't know if it's the one you're at, but there is an area in the back where you sell the grains, and then there's another yellow area like on the way out. I don't uh, know if you're in that one, but it's at Quaker State. Uh, Quaker State's not where you sell, sell silage. Shoes and socks. Is it Eureka Farms? Like I've um, seen. Is, uh, Rich, Richland Feed and Seed Mill Bales, Transport Company Bales, or Davis Feed Mill Bales. Uh, the on. nearest to you is probably Richland. It's up. Yeah, see, that's like, where I went, but there, it's there's no. Uh, maybe I missed it. 
It's just maybe this is the wrong. There's that. two. So now it's showing two cell points. So hang on. Yeah, there's there's a uh, rich and seed field mill, and then there's the mill bales. There's two different cell points there, and that's currently the highest price. Yeah, that's where I'm at. But I went to the. You know, it's... You're at Quaker State now. No. Yeah. What? It's your map. That's Quaker State Processing Plant. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> so Richland is south of you. <laughs> it says this takes bales too, though. There is supposed to be a bale cell point here, but. Is it? Yeah. It doesn't say so in the menu. But if you go to silage, it shows it, and it says bales. It says Richland's Richland feed and blah bales. Yeah, that's <laughs> south of here. Oh. This is. Oh, because I'm at Quaker Steak and Lube. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, shoot. Well, shizzle sticks. I got all confused, and I'm lost. Try again. Whoops. One of, those, one of those is alfalfa silage. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, because it was already loaded in the bale. But alfalfa silage. Oh, come on. It probably doesn't show up for you. So now, did you guys get snowed all over Tailoa? Uh, no. No snow at all? We got snow, but not a lot. I did. We had a blizzard so bad I couldn't see across the street. Oh, yeah? In town. Right. Couldn't see across the street. Now, Pedro, where are you again, roughly? South Dakota. Okay. Yeah, we had a, we have a bad. I mean, like, we got over a foot of snow. I have no idea how much snow we actually got because the wind was blowing, like, 60 miles an hour all day. Oh, right. How much was left? Like this, how much is left on the ground? Well, I mean, it drifted so bad, I, I couldn't tell you how much we accurately got. Oh, okay. Let's just say they got a lot. We had two solid days of snow, snow, like soft snow. It just started real slow. It was like, I looked out the window, and I knew it was going to snow, but I was like, oh, it's snowing. And then... Let's just say, let's just say here... There was one day where I thought about getting out my jacket. He's telling me getting him and getting him. It got to almost 65 degrees. It was so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put on some pants instead of shorts. Um, no, it it was like just the steady snow. It was really nice. I said we got. The snow that we got was lake effect, so Holland and Grand Rapids got a little bit more than we did. We just got a dusting. It's not, it was nice for Christmas, though. Yeah, it was nice enough to look out, and it was it was snowing like light but heavy enough at times where you just look out the window and it was everything was just white. Yeah, I love that. And what's perfect is we got some sun today, so it melted all the snow off of my car, so I don't have to clear it off. <laughs> my car's garage parked. But we had a, uh, oh, my, so my car went into, uh, what do you call it, like the engine light came on. And, of course, I have to get my license plate renewed. Mm. I was like, oh, are you kidding? So, like, I couldn't get it renewed because my birthday was last week. You have to do it on your birthday, you know. I haven't gotten caught yet, but I'm going to go tomorrow to get the e-check. But what happened was uh, I took it to AutoZone, and he's like, yeah, there's a small EVAP leak. He's like, I can't tell you what exactly it is, but most likely it's your gas cap. And I'm like, all right, so can we replace that? He's like, yeah. So I got a new gas cap for like 12 bucks and put it on. And the light still took like two or three days to go off. But I know like each car is different, like how long it takes for that light to go off. Mm -hmm. But then they're like, well, you could have had them turn it off. I'm like, oh, yeah, duh. But I wanted to see it go off. Like, I wanted to know that everything was working okay, so I'm glad it went off by itself. So it was the gas. My gas cap was bad. But uh, now my car is all happy and back up and running. 
Yay! So now I have to go get my, my spend sixty bucks and get my license renewed. Yay! Yay, government! Oh, time to sit back and watch some TV. What? All the chores on the farm are done. Wait, you're done? Yeah, I'm done bailing. Pedro was moving some bales around, I think. Yep, he's lining them up for you. And then none of the fields are ready to be fertilized. Or anything like that. Thank you, Pedro. Well, do you guys want to... JC, you want to speed time up? Sure. Speed that time up, JC. I'm not in the game, though. Yeah, he's not on the Oh, map. okay, I'll do it. Never mind. Uh, field, field 16's going to need lime. When, yeah. yeah, I saw that. Uh, can I, I, do don't how, I don't know how we missed it and didn't get it on the post lane, I think. Oh, that's not the right button. How do I log in as admin? I think it's here. You uh, enter your password out loud for the entire YouTube audience to hear. Yep. That's a capital A. <laughs> no, all right, so. R-T-H-U-R. <laughs> <laughs> I made the server pass for Arthur because I'm stupid. All right, keep an eye on the crops. I have sped up time to 120. Okay. I'm here. I'll let you know when it pops. Let me know when it pops. Okay. Will it need, how's the fertilizer looking on those fields? 50%. So it'll need to be sprayed when it's. The next stage. I love this elf, huh? Here's the grain shop, dude. Gonna be some sweet sounds when I sell these bales at the grain shop, dude. Do do. I'm gonna sell these bales. Um. Does anybody know where exactly they're supposed to sell? Uh, the bales? I found it. it. Never mind. There's like a spot. It should be the first spot section, not that back. It's like a non grain bin spot. What are we using for fertilizer? Is it a solid spreader? Yeah, we should also. I think that's all we have is the solid. Yeah. Ooh. That looks an awful lot like something I've seen before. I'm not sure what, but wow! Twenty-six thousand dollars. That's not bad. Uh, only half a field. Where is our fertilizer spreader? Do we even have one? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. Look I through our garage, Taylor. Look through the garage. Mm, I've just driven around the whole farm. Huh? You wanna, you wanna... I'm. I'm sure we do. How can we not have a fertilizer spreader? I just can't right now. You can't what? Let me look in the garage. Can't deal with this, man. What, the controller not working? Yeah. That's so dumb. Stupid. Yeah. Uh, we do not own a fertilizer spreader. Um, I, we own one that probably has lime in it. Or did we uh, rent that one? Oh, there it is. How, wait, how did that not show up in the garage? Oh, it's leased. That's why. Okay. Oh. I was just looking through our owned equipment. Okay, now that'll work. I'll un unload the lime. And... Um, Arthur, you've got two Whoa. closely stacked rows of silage bales. Okay. One's only got like four because it won't drive halfway across the field. Oh, there's fertilizer in this one. Okay. Wait, how did you get them all stacked? What do you mean? Like, did you uh, actually... The crop pop. Oh, okay. No. Uh, uh, no, 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 okay. So what do you want to do with the fertilizer? Oh, God, it's dark. <laughs> I mean, like, really dark. Uh, that happened. What do you want to do with the fertilizing? You want to do it at night? Uh, I mean, it's probably not going to pop 
pass where we can if we go through the night, is it? It might. Well, you, could just, uh, you could turn growth off for a little bit. Or turn it to slow. And then just yeah. the night, and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, let's do that. Let's yeah, there you go. Let's do that, because otherwise I'm not going to. Crops don't really grow at night anyway, do they? Um, yes. Um, yeah, uh, no, Arthur, they do. No, they go to sleep just like the rest of us. Plant I mean, growth off. In real life, they're not going to go from barely sprouted to full grown and overnight, though. Does somebody want to sleep, or do I have to sleep? Uh, I think you have to, but I can try. What is going on? I just turned down the wrong driveway. Oh, I'm going to die. Eight hours? Ten hours? Uh, let's do. Let's do twelve. Yes, we do want to sleep. I'm sorry, what, Violet? Uh, yes and no. You can have a yogurt. Can you please get me a nice tea now? Now. Uh, all right. I just woke up in the ground. That was interesting. Now you can uh, turn growth back on unless you never turned it on. I turned it off, so let's turn it back on. Yep. Normal. Spread that stuff. Oh, Pedro, go ahead and collect the rest of the bales. I have to go wee-wee, so we're going to take a station identification break. By the way, we're about 36 minutes anyway, so that makes an episode. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed this as I drove around and sold bales, got lost. Pedro took the bale machine, and Taylor spread his fertilizer. Meanwhile, JC stayed at home and cried because his joystick wasn't working, which sucks because if, <laughs> if my joystick wasn't working, I wouldn't be playing either. I thought he was at home crying because he peed his pants. No, that's going to be what happens to me if I don't get off here in a minute or two. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you for the next exciting episode of whatever farm this is. Bucks County. Yes, because I have too many farms running right now. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Always help. You guys want to say bye? Bye. Bye. All right, I'll be right back, guys.